My name is Maurice Harker. I am a mental health counselor. I am the director of an organization called Life Changing Services. In our company, we prioritize, we have found ourselves serving many couples that have experienced catastrophic marital experiences. My office has become like an emergency room where husbands and wives are brought in um, after severe catastrophe involving uh, be misbehaviors, behaviors that are contrary to value systems. Usually the husband has done something of a sexual nature that has brought a lot of pain not only to her but to him as well. During these initial sessions where I am assessing the condition of the relationship. After about an hour of listening and carefully studying what's going on for them, it's not uncommon for a couple to ask me, so what are our chances? What do you think, Maurice? Is this marriage fixable? And I have kind of a split brain experience in those moments because the scientist part of me, the part of me that wants to have medical or clinical integrity wants to tell them that there's not much hope there's not much chance here this is a pretty bad situation and if you wanted me to give you a percentage I'd say about a five percent chance we're gonna be able to fix this but then I remember that most of my preparation as a therapist most of my preparation as a person who is trying to be a tool in the hands of God has led me to stories that we find in the New Testament and other places where things that are different than statistically likely are happening. Things like people who've been ill and sick for most of their lives find themselves healthy because of divine intervention and a story that is very dear to my heart, very close to my heart, is after all the pain and anguish that the loved ones of Lazarus went through, Christ showed up and was able to raise him from the dead. If we were to include science, we would say that Lazarus was clinically, medically, measurably dead. Almost every marriage I meet is either clinically, measurably dead, or almost dead. But for 25 years now, I've been studying the principles and the concepts that will raise marriages from the dead. I have worked to um, understand, to implement, to make connections with the power and the principles and God and His atonement through Christ that can raise marriages from the dead. For many years now, I've watched couples experience these miracles. They come to my office, we spend hours and hours and hours together trying to work out all the pieces that need to be worked out so that he can be born again as an individual, um, she can be born again as an individual, <clears throat> thus laying the foundation for the marriage to be born again and raised from the dead. For months, years now, me and my team, me and my staff, have been trying to find a way to provide you with access to these concepts, these principles, as close to a therapeutic environment as possible without the expense. And so, <clears throat> instead of just providing you with a book that has words in it and stories, we're going to provide you with all of the information you would find in a book in written form, but in, addi in addition to that, we're going to provide you with audio clips of live sessions and video clips of training sessions from more than one person, most of them coming from me, but other clinicians with a lot of experience uh, who work closely with us will also be providing these uh, teaching tools. And we're going to put them in a format that you can have access to them all at once um, in a series of lessons, 50 or more over the course of a year, one a week, and we're calling these the Lazarus Lectures. 
because they're more than just lessons and they're more than just good ideas and designed to improve your marriage. You're going to experience concepts that I'm confident have not been seen before from an accurate, scientifically provable arena, synergized not only with gospel principles, but with instructions and holding your hand through the process of connecting with divine power so that you can have the experience to take what you thought was dead. And yes, you may have the same attitude as many of those in the New Testament or in other stories where the people felt like it's too late, it's over, there's nothing more that can be done. We have access to concepts, principles, and a power that can raise marriages from the dead. To make these within your reach, to make them affordable to you, we've made them substantially less expensive than individual therapy or marriage therapy sessions. So please, follow the links that are connected to this video and get access to the information so that we can begin now to serve you and your family. Thank you.